Pastor Eyo Edirukun is a great disciplinarian, very unassuming, humble, accessible, and a lover of God. Pastor Kun is a mentor to so many young and old of our time. It was another thrilling moment as Ete renders his favorite choruses during the 2004 Cross River State Field Convention at Agen.
saying is true concerning you, concerning your life, concerning everything around you, it will come to pass. Because of his high Christian values and exhibition of the Christian virtues of love, humility, obedience, and total submission and commitment to the will and service of God, Pastor E.E. E. Okun was in 1965 appointed the first black superintendent of the defunct Calabar area of the Apostolic Church by the International Council of the Church in Great Britain. Pastor E.E. E. Okun is also known to be very sincere, humble, righteous, and true servant of God. The church leader whose main preoccupation is to win souls for Christ and nurture them for the kingdom of God. Apostolic faithfuls, members of other Christian fools, as well as non-believers do testify to this fact. To God be the glory.
as a charismatic leader, Pastor E.E. E. Okun's reign as the national president of the Apostolic Church Nigeria has been very peaceful. It is a fact that the British brought the Apostolic Church mission to Nigeria in the early 30s, hence to further cement the bond of relationship that exists between the church in Nigeria and overseas, the leadership of the Apostolic Church in Great Britain, made up of apostles and prophets, paid a visit to Nigeria to see the progress of work. In their visit, they paid a gospel call on the national president of the Apostolic Church, Pastor E. E. Kun. To their amazement, they were surprised at the progress of work they saw in Nigeria and they gave God the glory and appreciated the effort and leadership of the Apostolic Church in Nigeria. God be the glory. me that in any gathering, any occasion that these people come from far and wide to gather in this manner, I should teach them. Uh, but, but, it's very warm. It's very warm. 
But especially in the fact that my people have criticized and condemned me so much. One more it is me that I am the Lord that owns things that cannot take care of that which I own. Teach them concerning the eleven tenets.
and then when that come again. Jesus said, he the founder and owner of the church has kept a way to sustain it and supply a physical needs. But in most cases, people do put into practice their own program and plan, not the divine program as he, the Lord, the owner of the church, is Jesus. Go back to the Baptized and other offerings in the church are exclusive properties of God. Come unto him, all you that labor. Pastor, in your idiot will always have a congregation at heart. Hence, he wouldn't keep them long in any meeting that he presides. Pastor E.E. E. Okun is a spiritual leader to so many within the apostolic fold and outside the church. He shall feed his flock like a shepherd. He has held since 1981. During his reign, this humble apostle has been able to unite the church across the length and breadth of the country. Look at the gifts given in 
as the national president of the Apostolic Church Nigeria and the Cross River State Field Superintendent, Pastor E. E. Okun's major responsibility, among others, is the ordination of elders, pastors, prophets, and apostles in the apostolic fold. Hence, he will always be alive to his responsibilities when duty demands. This great evangelist has left indelible footprints on the sands of time. A man that has affected his society positively, he has earned respect and honor from within and outside the apostolic fold. Hence, today, the name Pastor E. E. Okun is synonymous to uprightness, simplicity, courage, spirituality, integrity, good leadership, and all virtue one could think of. To God be the glory.
Michael of Man Carolina. Oh, will they send Michael to come and take you? You need a book of I will come myself and take you along. Out of these two, which one is greater? I will come myself and take you. Which one do you think should swell your head higher? So come myself. And you are in the Do you want him to send someone to come and take you? But for him to come himself and take you. Yes. I will. 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 When something is to be compared or measured by beauty, when a glory is to be used as a yastic, then a man heaven. Once heaven is mentioned, there is a place that is greater and higher than all places on earth. Why? I'm asking why is that place greater? Are there witnesses in this place? Yes. It says a place prepared by his own hands. Which one will make you feel great? He is still preparing a place. I Tell me such a place and all the mighty cities in the world, all the mighty nations in the world, which one is greater? It is heaven, but it is because your eyes are not open yet. Oh, how would it be were your eyes to be open for you to behold how the heaven is? Someone to advise you to set in annoyingly before the Lord, you wouldn't open your mouth. Have you ever heard your leader be any witness leader or any leader in a church and they ever say, let such and such things be brought to a prepared place? No. Have you ever heard that? No. All that it is on earth to measure or to compare the things in heaven is like a vulture standing before an elephant and flapping its wings. 
Whether the earth will open, that's not his business. Uh, 
integrity and of great personality. Asokun is a respected man of God of our time. A mentor to so many, Asokun will be widely remembered in his preaching and for his zero level law for materiality and acquisition of wealth.
distinguished and rare man of God, whose equal cannot be found. Pastor E.E. E. Okun is loved by all. Hence, whenever he attends any church program, the enthusiastic crowd will be willing and zealous to welcome and bid farewell to this great man of God of our time. If you are seen as wonderful, yeah. it shall be wonderful to you. by enthusiastic members who could not let go of him during his last outing at the 2010 Akin Major Convention. 